try this Olympiad limit before I do to see if you can solve it. So here's my solution. I'm going to split this expression into this expression and this expression. And then I'm going to multiply by a constant, by one. Because if you multiply anything by one, it stays the same. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity. And then we have 2x plus 1 minus 2 into the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 1. Okay, now I'm going to multiply this by 1. And 1 is a fraction that is itself divided by itself. So I'm going to let this fraction be 2x plus 1 plus 2 into the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 1. And then all over the same thing. Because I have to have it all over the same thing for this fraction to equal to 1. Do not change the value of this. And the reason why I chose this was because now I can do the reverse of the difference of two squares here. Because here I have a negative sign, and here I have an addition sign, or positive sign. So I can say now, the limit as x approaches infinity of, and now my denominator will stay as that, which is 2x plus 1 plus 2 into the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 1. And then now I'll square this term, the 2x plus 1, so I have 2x plus 1 squared, and then subtracted by this term squared. So I have 2 into the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 1 squared. All right. So now, simplifying the numerator, we get this. The limit as x approaches infinity of 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus, now this 2 gets squared, 4 into x squared plus 3x plus 1. And if I distribute that 4, I get minus 4x squared plus 12x plus 4. Okay, and still over the same denominator, which is 2x plus 1 plus 2 into the square root of x squared plus 3x plus 1. All right, so now further simplifying the numerator, we notice that those four x squareds cancel out. And now we have, and sorry, this uh, is actually negative here because we distributed a negative. So it's plus 1 and then minus the 4x squared because we distributed this negative, minus 12x, minus 4. Okay, so then I get the limit as x approaches infinity of negative 8x minus 3. So those that 4x and that negative 12x gives me negative 8x, and that 1 and that negative 4 gives me the negative 3. And then still, over the same denominator. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out x as a common factor in both my numerator and my denominator. So doing that in the numerator, and we get negative 8x over x, minus 3 over x, and you'll notice those will cancel, over, and then we'll have 2x over x, plus 1 over x, plus 2 over x into this. So then let's distribute this over x, or this x to the negative 1 degree, into the square root, which means we're actually distributing an x squared. So what I'm saying is we can divide everything inside here by x squared. The reason why that works is if you think about it, if you take out an, uh, 1 over x squared as a common factor within the square root, and then you take it out the square root, you're left with 1 over x outside. So that's why it makes sense to distribute in the 1 over x squared. Okay, so now you'll notice those x's can cancel, those x's can, can cancel, those x squareds can cancel, leaving us with 1 there, leaving us with 2 here, and leaving us with negative 8 here. So then our limit becomes minus 8, and then as our denominator approaches infinity of this negative 3 over x, our negative 3 over x approaches 0. It becomes infinitely small. So minus 0 all over. Now we keep that 2 here, and then same thing goes for this. As x approaches infinity, 1 over x approaches 0, plus 0, plus 2 into. Now, what's inside the square root, we have a 1 here, and then we have... So that x squared will cancel with that x, so we'll have 3 over x, and that 3 over x becomes 0 as x approaches infinity, and 1 over x squared also becomes 0 as x approaches infinity. So we have 2 into 1. So that is equal to negative 8 over 4, which is equal to negative 2. So that's the limit solved, and I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you managed to solve it for yourself first, and of course, if you did, well done. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. Thank you.